is up kilo crew welcome to the 15,000 subscriber special y'all voted over on instagram that you wanted me to have a 15,000 calorie cheat weekend and i am here to deliver so welcome to day one of this cheat day one of my first popular videos was based on going out and eating a massive amount of donuts that was the nick dompierre 10,000 calorie donut challenge so of course I want to start this 15,000 subscriber special as a big thank you I'm going to go get some donuts from my favorite place Amy's Donuts so let's get bundled up and get some donuts Kilo crew, I am back from Amy's Donuts. It is looking delicious. I'm going to start small with just three of their massive donuts and then a few of their complimentary donut holes. Let me go ahead and show you guys the day and time. It is Saturday, October 19th, 6.25 a.m. and I am ready to smash some donuts. Super hungry. I love me some Amy's. So first I'm going to start with one I have yet to try and that is is their lemon zest donut. This thing looks fantastic, covered in lemon cake crumbs. Let's take this first bite. Cheers. Wow, this is one heck of a way to start off a 15,000 calorie cheat weekend. Amy's killed it. It's almost like a lemon meringue pie, but also it's got like that cake crumble on top. So it adds like this depth of texture. This is incredible. Everything about this screams, good morning. That was one heck of a way to start the donutery. Next up, I want to try one of their cute little Halloween donuts. This little fella is adorable. Look at him. He's like the little mummy fella and it's just like a cream cheese frosting with like buttercream stripes across him to make the little wrappings and he's got these cute little M&M eyeballs. He's adorable, but I'm gonna bite into him because Halloween horror, here we go. That is one soft and delicious mummy. And also a big thank you to the gals working there this morning. They were like a bundle of joy and energy for it being really early when I got there. I think it might've been like 5.45, 6 o'clock. So they didn't even have these out and made yet. They went back and made this special for me because I saw that there was like a blank slot for the Halloween donuts. So mad props, thank you so much. The frosting is just so thick. This donut almost tastes like birthday cake. Let's do a little chocolate milk chaser. Mm. So the next donut, I have had this one before, is a Fruity Pebbles donut. And the really cool thing about the Fruity Pebbles donut and all of the cereal-based donuts at Amy's is they make them right when you order them so that the cereal does not get stale. They have pictures of the different cereals you can pick. You order it, they go back and they make it for you and you have fresh, not soggy cereal. Let's take a bite and you'll hear the crunch. It's not often you get to ASMR with a donut. Simple, delicious, tastes like a childhood bowl of cereal. Last bite of this piece of deliciousness. Absolute fire. And then let's move on to some of their simple stuff. Cool thing about Amy's is if you get there, they'll just like randomly sometimes give you free donut holes and their donut holes blow Krispy Kreme out of the water. They're just simple. Simple little yeasted donut holes, but they are oh so delicious anyways. Mm. 
They absolutely melt in your mouth. They are fantastic. In fact, let me bite one of these in half and show you the inside. It's just light, fluffy gloriousness. Excuse my messy frosting hands. These are everything. And I still have more left over for tomorrow. So of course, be sure to tune in when I drop the next episode, which is going to be the Sunday of the 15,000 calorie cheat weekend. I'm gonna try and divide the calories up somewhat evenly. So probably closer to 7,500 a day, close-ish to 7,500 tomorrow. That way, both episodes are bringing you the most deliciousness and joy because I'm doing this for y'all. Like I said, y'all voted for it on Instagram. So big cheat weekend it is. last donut hole. So that was meal one for today. As with all things, I'm going to kind of just play today by ear, show you all the calories as I go and add them up. And I will catch you guys for probably like an official savory breakfast and then all sorts of other shenanigans. See you in a bit. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What can I get started for you? Can I get... That ought to do it. All right, Kilo Crew, it is time for meal two. I went ahead and stopped at Taco Bell. I'm kind of on the run this morning, but it is 8.43 a.m., still Saturday the 19th, so day one of the 15,000 calorie cheat weekend, and I picked up some stuff from Taco Bell. They're one of my favorite places to go grab breakfast, so I will show you what I got. I want to start with something I haven't had in a really long time, and that is their breakfast crunch wrap. These things are so delicious. I have it right here, and I just love these. They're really simple, tasty, very affordable. Let's take a first bite of this crunch wrap. Straight fire, flames, everything good. I know it's just Taco Bell, but it's cheap, delicious food, you know, while you're on the run. That combination of soft, hash browns, eggs, cheese, it's everything. And again, this is the bacon breakfast crunch wrap. Let me know in the comments, are you team steak, sausage? Why am I holding up three fingers? Team steak, sausage, or bacon when it comes to your breakfast crunch wrap at Taco Bell. Bacon is what I go for. This may be controversial, but this is one of the tastiest breakfast fast food items I think there is, besides maybe like the McGriddle. Last bite of the crunch wrap. Okay, now cool story about going through the drive-thru. Not so cool at first, but when I went through, I ordered a Fiesta potato breakfast burrito, a Fiesta bowl or the mini skillet Fiesta bowl, and then that crunch wrap. They ended up the first time I went through, they gave me two skillet bowls. So I had to go back through again to get the Fiesta burrito. So now I have two mini skillet bowls and I'm gonna dig into the first one now. These things are also fire, flames, everything that's good about a simple cheap breakfast for a dollar. There's some good hearty potatoes in the morning. That's good. They put so much sour cream and I'm okay with that. I love the way they season their potatoes. There's kind of some spice to them, but it's not overpowering. They make the potatoes to where they're nice and crisp when you bite in, they're not soggy. Under that one. Okay, weird. So there must be like some sort of difference between the skillet bowls. Cause I thought I remembered there being eggs in the skillet bowl. That first one didn't have eggs. This one does have eggs and a lovely amount of pico and potato. So I don't know what the difference is. I thought there was only one version of the breakfast skillet and I'm totally cool with it because now this one has eggs. Rock on. And they have surprisingly good fresh tasting pico as well. I just realized it's been a while since I've eaten in the car on a cheat day. I want to say it's been since my casual Friday cheat day or maybe my back to school cheat day. I can't remember, but it's been a while. Okay, so next up is that Fiesta Potato Breakfast Burrito that was incorrect the first time. This thing is pretty solid. It's a good size for being a buck. I'm in. Let's top it with some of this mild hot sauce. I know y'all are probably jonesing for me to use this, so had to. Here you go. Solid first bite. 
they do breakfast right at Taco Bell. I'm not like saying it's gourmet or anything. It's definitely fast food, but for a buck, you cannot go wrong. I just love like the variance of texture in these. The outside's nice and crisp. You get in there, you get the egg, you get the cheese, you get the fresh burst of pico. It ain't bad. Last bite. Okay, so next up, y'all know I had to bring a little sweet treat with me because I always have a sweet tooth. So I decided because it is close to Halloween season, I have to do a little bit of candy. So I grabbed a couple of these white Reese's peanut butter cups. They sounded interesting. I've never actually had the white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup. So I'm gonna try one for you now. This is what they look like. They're just little white Reese's peanut butter cups. Let's take a bite to show you the middle. That is really yummy. It's a basic Reese's, but with everything that's great about that white chocolate flavor. So fantastic. And then I have one more, so I'm gonna go ahead and down that one right now. Okay, here we go. Mmm, so good. Even better all done in one bite. It really just fills your mouth with like so much flavor. Anyways, that is it for breakfast. <clears throat> I will meet you guys for lunch. I still don't know what I want to do. As always, it'll be a big surprise for both you and for me. I will see you guys at whatever the next stop is and throw the current calorie count up for you right now. See ya at the next place. All right, Kilo Crew, it has been some time since my last meal, since I went and had breakfast. I've been running around town. It's raining like crazy outside. So I decided to take lunch and bring it back home just to reduce that rain noise, keep it a little more cozy, and just enjoy in nice rain-free silence. <sighs> Anyways, let's update you on what time it is. 1.52, still Saturday the 19th. And I know this is going to seem kind of basic, but I have never had a McRib and it is McRib season. So I wanted to give that a try for my cheat day. So that is what I'm going to start with. Take a look, it's a lot of sauce. I've heard good things. There has to be a reason why it's seasonal. So I'm gonna give this a shot. That's a lot of sauce though. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, this is very, very saucy. There's there's just barbecue everywhere. My fingers are already covered. Here we go, first McRib ever. Mm. That's actually not bad. For $3.99, this isn't bad at all, and it's a good size. Barbecue sauce is good, and the meat's not scary like I thought it would be. I thought it would be kind of like, almost tastes like TV dinner meat. Tastes fine to me. It's pretty good for what it is. I don't see what all the hype is about and why it's seasonal and why people rave over it. I would give it maybe like a seven, seven and a half out of 10, but ooh, I'm covered in sauce. <laughs> Am I clean now? Okay, maybe now you guys can take me seriously. Maybe a seven and a half out of 10, just because, I don't know. It's not that exciting, but it's good. Last bite. All right, next up, I had to get a Big Mac this time around. And I've gotten a Big Mac before. I think I did it on my All-American 4th of July um, cheat day. I'm doing it again just because I watched that Jordan Syatt guy who did the 30 Big Mac challenge or something where every day he had a Big Mac and lost weight. I watched it. Good stuff, by the way, about how macros are like the important thing or calorie balance, I should say, is the important thing for fat loss, not what you eat necessarily. Anyways, it made me really want a Big Mac, so had to get one. And this one looks good. Nice presentation. Ooh, -hoo. here we go. Big Mac sauce is flames. Yeah, Big Mac over the McRib any day. Big Macs are always eight, nine out of 10. This one's messy, dripping sauce everywhere. Before I down the last bite of this, I need to know, are y'all team Big Mac or team Whopper? I think I'm a Big Mac team. Anyway, last bite. And last but not least for McDonald's, one of my favorite items, the simple McChicken. I love McChickens, just look at that. I love how much sauce they put on them. It's just simple, good fast food trash. Here we go. Ooh, that smoosh, good stuff. 
These are so glorious. Last bite. Mm, that was an awesome McDonald's snack. It was fun to try the McRib. Next, I know that I had these for my last cheat day, but these were good snacks, so I'm going to do it again. My girl, Lil Debbie, pumpkin delights, still fall, still relevant. Needed to conquer my sweet tooth. I stand by what I said. It's a snickerdoodle filled with pumpkin. Amazing. Mama Renee is gonna be stopping by tomorrow, so I'm definitely gonna send her home with some of these. She's not a huge pumpkin fan, but she's a really big snickerdoodle fan, so we shall see. Let's do one more with the scary break. Ah, I am so lame. They're just soft, nicely spiced amazingness. Lil Debbie is my home girl, and I'm gonna prove it because I also have more of her salted caramel apple oatmeal cream pies. And I just have to do it again because I love these. They're my favorite. I think I like them more than the original oatmeal cream pie. Controversial opinion. Yeah, that is just too good. You guys have to go out and get some of these. I said it last time, I'll say it again. Limited edition, get them before falls over. And one more again. The break alone is worth it. Just that cross section, fantastic. Now, the last thing I wanted to do was the last day I did this, I had the pumpkin spice pop tarts and I thought they were okay, but not amazing. So I want to step them up to amazing and my guess is I can do that by adding peanut butter. I'm gonna make a pumpkin pop tart peanut butter sandwich. I think this is gonna be pretty good. We'll find out. Step one, open peanut butter. Step two, scoop ridiculous amounts of peanut butter. Step three, spread on pop tart. Focus, focus. Oh yeah, I'd call that a generous helping. I don't know what step I'm on. I don't know if it matters, but sandwich, Pop-Tarts. Battery is running low, so I'm gonna smash this as fast as I can. That is really good, so I'm not gonna smash it as fast as I can. I'm gonna go switch the battery on this thing real quick and enjoy this slowly, because y'all have to do this. I will be back in a YouTube second. All right, and we are back with a charged camera this time. Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh yes, peanut butter, pumpkin, Pop-Tart. Peanut butter and pumpkin go together like peanut butter and jelly. If that cross section tells you anything, it's great because you get frosting on your tongue, frosting on the roof of your mouth, that nice texture of the little crumbles on there that they do, this is way better. That really did step up this game a lot. That's good. I think this is the first time I've ever been a big Pop-Tart fan. Well, that is it for lunch. That was delicious. I wanna apologize. I wanted to make today kind of a vloggy, but the weather is really bad outside. It's been raining nonstop, like I said. So I'm probably gonna end up hermiting for the evening. I've actually already kind of come up with what I want to cook. I'm gonna get kind of creative for dinner tonight. So hopefully you guys enjoy being a bit of a hermit with me this evening. It's going to be a good time. I ran around all day anyway, so I'm actually kind of tired and lazy and kind of just want to chill the rest of the evening. That's probably what I'll end up doing, but I will catch you for some delicious dinner. All right, Kilo crew, remember how I said I was gonna make a big epic meal for the final meal? Uh, I kind of lied because as you have already seen, but I found out after YouTube time warp hole, I was really, really close to 7,500 calories for the day already. I was at like 62, 6,300 calories just after lunch. So I'm going to save at least one of the ideas for tomorrow night for part two of the 15,000 calorie cheat weekend. And so I just went ahead and made a giant 
epic ice cream. Get me that 1300 calories, that way I can maximize all the fun in the next episode or tomorrow for me. Let me go ahead and show you the time. It's been just a few hours, 4.58, still Saturday. I ended up actually having a ton of energy after that last meal too. I don't know if the McRib has like crack in it or something, but remember how I was like, oh man, I'm just gonna chill. I'm kind of like tired after running around all day. Yeah, totally lied. I ended up buzzing around like a freak. Ended up going to my apartment gym, smashing a bro workout. It was a lot of fun. I don't, I don't even know where that energy came from, but it got me really warmed up and I'm ready to smash this amazing ice cream sundae. I went with basically, I found this ice cream. It was called Touchdown Sundae at the store. And I went, I had like, where do they come in? They come in like a half gallon tub. And I had a half of a half gallon. So I have a half, half gallon of Touchdown Sundae Sunday, topped with Cold Stone's birthday cake cereal, big old glob of Nutella, big old glob of peanut butter, and I'm ready to smash this thing. It looks delicious. Let me tell you, get a load of that. Let's get a big Nutella, crunchy bite, Nutella, birthday cake cereal, and ice cream. Here we go. Oh yeah. I have created a monster. Cause nobody wants to see Marshall no more. They want shady, I'm chopped liver. Okay, I'm never doing that again. Anyway, this touchdown Sunday ice cream is really good. It's a limited edition flavor and it's vanilla ice cream with chocolate swirls. And then it has little chocolate footballs in it that are filled with caramel and it's on point. And then I love Cold Stone's birthday cake cereal. It's like marshmallows and it's almost like Captain Crunchberry sort of, but they taste like birthday cake. I love to put crunchy things in ice cream. And this is kind of a nice change from just doing Ben and Jerry's all the time. Cause that's normally what I do. This was fun. I'm truly enjoying this. I have such a sweet tooth all the time. I don't even need dinner. This is dinner, dessert for dinner. That's what cheat day is all about. No rules. I think Ben and Jerry's should hire me. This would be a cool flavor. You guys gotta let me know your favorite ice cream topping down below or favorite ice cream flavor. I've asked this in the past, but I have so many new members of the Kilo crew. I need a new vote, a new system. So just like hashtag your favorite ice cream flavor or topping or both. This bite right now, y'all, is the perfect bite. It's got Nutella, peanut butter, the cereal chunks, marshmallows, and one of the caramel footballs. Perfect bite. This has been such a fun day, y'all. I'm hoping that tomorrow the weather is a little bit nicer so that I can make it a little more like vlog style, which is what I intended for this 15,000 calorie weekend special to be. Hopefully you're still enjoying the food journey anyway. I'm having fun going around doing everything. I'm in a great mood. I feel great. Had that awesome workout, like I said. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna enjoy the last little bit of this ice cream, so. Okay, and the last bite. Cheers, Kilo Crew. That was absolutely delicious. It has been a really fun day. I will, of course, put the official calorie and macro count on the screen for you. Please make sure that you keep your eyes open for part two so that you can see the rest of the 15,000 calorie cheat weekend. Again, a big thank you to everyone who took the time to vote over on my Instagram page. You guys have a big say in what I decide to do for some of my challenges where I go to eat sometimes. It's all up to you guys. I do this for y'all and it's been a lot of fun. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for getting me to 15,000 subscribers already. This is absolutely amazing. Be sure to like this video if you like it and it would mean a lot to me if you are new to the channel to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that we can grow even larger. The Kilo Crew is amazing and I appreciate y'all so much. Catch y'all for part two. Bye-bye.